go. Clutch kick on the break, try not to overthrow this one. For all your energy innovation product needs, make sure you check out driveenergy.com. That's D R I V E N R G dot com. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. I'm Evil Rabbit here on Forza Motorsport 7. We are staring down an uh, RX-7 FC. And the reason we are staring down an FC is because recently I got a message from a subscriber on Instagram and on to the YouTube channel, ESRC Trex. He uh, started asking me questions about my wheel setup and settings and such because he has just recently got onto a wheel. And he asked me about some tuning settings and uh, I told him that I would try and build him a tune for one of his favorite cars the FC with a stock motor so we're here today to build this drift car on the FC we're gonna go full wide body we're gonna build a drift car tune it up and uh, see if we can't get it to slide nice and consistently so that uh, he can uh, get this car and uh, get sideways and see if he can get more seat time in and get more stable on a wheel so we are going to build this car up. He's also on a factory wheel size, so we are going to switch back and forth between my energy and my factory wheel just to make sure that it handles well on a factory wheel. So we're just going to get right into this, and we are going to go to the upgrade shop. And uh, the first thing we are going to throw on, of course, is that wide body because it looks sweet in this wide body. We are going to leave the factory motor in, and we're going to leave the drivetrain as such, uh, I don't think we're going to do that, but we are going to throw on probably just the raised wing, nothing super aggressive on this car, and then we are going to go with that hood just because I like the hood pins and the scoop, so then we are going to rock street tires on this car because I'm not sure what the power band is going to be on this car yet, we're going to increase the tires a little bit. And we're going to increase the... Wow. 265s. Those are wide. We may not run that wide of tires. But then again, we may. Looking for... I think we're probably going to run some 1552s on this car. 1552 twists. Hmm. Fuck, like we'll run these for right now can always change those up any given time we are gonna bump up 17s we're not gonna go higher than a 17 and then we get into the nitty-gritty of basically upgrading everything else that a normal drift car would have and then we're gonna get into the tuning of this car and go send it we're probably gonna go to Dubai because Dubai is a very good up down flat basically a very good section of a lot of really good differences in terrain I'm gonna throw it down on that we are not gonna put sway bars in the car because I found a softer suspension setup is a lot nicer when rocking a wheel and we're just gonna drop it down not super light and now let's see what type of power we can get. I've actually never done a stock FC, so I'm curious exactly how much power we're going to be able to get out of this car. I couldn't imagine it being more than 500. And again, I could be wrong. We could be upwards of 500. Let's throw that rotary. 507. 520. I think 520 or 534 is actually a very decent number. So we are going to keep those 265s on there to keep them grip. But we're going to keep the sport tires on for right now. So we're done doing that. Uh, I think we're just going to go paint the wheels. And then we're going to hit to the track, get this thing tuned up, and uh, go from there. Time to get into the tuning of this for right now. We're going to run a basic tune, and then we will 
tweak it from there. Uh, I'm not sure how I'm going to want to change that up, but we are going to go up to three and one, and we'll probably do one, three, five, and we're going to crank the caster up all the way. Like I said, we're going to run a basic tune on this to start, see how it handles and adjust from there, and then see what we can do on a factory wheel size with the car and see if we have to modify the setting a little bit differently for say that because he is running a factory wheel size at the moment. Throw in them tandem brakes. And that's that. We're going to save that up. And uh, yeah, that FC looks so nice just sitting there. All right, so we are gonna get onto the track with this basic tune. We gotta get our wheel cam set up. We gotta get our energy wheel put on for right now. With our AM Studios quick release, and I believe that is too tight. There we go. I was spinning it while I was waiting. Realized I spun it too much. All right, we are rocking the sequential gearbox and the hydraulic cam brake and everything. Oh, the rotary. It's been a while since I've drifted a rotary, so... We're gonna see how this goes. We're just gonna go full send right away. I didn't think it was gonna have power to do that turn, but... Throw it in. Handle that bump. And, uh, actually, there may not be much modification we need for this. This was my go-to car in other Forzas for drifting. There we go. I do like the sound of the rotary for sure. Go. Little clutch kick on the brake. Try not to overthrow this one. This is actually a very nice handling car right now. This thing is how we just shred that entire uphill section. Ooh. I mean, we don't really need the points, but. I'm actually very impressed with how this car handles right now. It's, there's not much like wavering in my steering when I'm at counter. It kind of gets to place and stays there. Let's see if we can link this. Oh. Just a tap on the wall, a little wall scrape. We're good though. Oh my gosh. I think we actually uh, found a good basic setting for this car. I missed my shifter. <laughs> I went to go grab it, completely missed the shifter. I think, uh, I think I may have found a new fun little car to rip around. Now we're gonna have to switch it to the other wheel to make sure that it is able to throw with the other wheel though. We're gonna hit that. I don't think we're going to be able to hold that that long, but I do love the sound of this car. That's going to be a hard hit. Ooh. We are going to switch our wheel up, though, to make sure. Grab the little Logitech wheel. 
snap it back on. Just the feel in my hand is so different. But I still think it will be good and uh, we should be able to send this thing pretty well. That was too much. Oh, don't wreck. Don't wreck the car before we actually get a good test on it. So this car handles very well. And uh, I can see that you have to be a little bit smoother. You can't just snap to angle like you can with the NRG wheel because there's not much weight to throw around with this wheel, so. But the tune seems pretty, uh, pretty good for it. There we go. I think we're good, even on the uh, factory Logitech wheel. Ooh, except for that. I think the uh, the side bite's pretty good. I don't think there's gonna be much snapback oversteer. Yep. I think we need to make a little bit of adjustment. But otherwise, I think this car is quite good and it handles pretty well on the small Logitech wheel too. Another clutch pop, there we go, and we're still in angle though. Oh, I feathered out there, but. So, this FC, uh... definitely handling Dubai. Like a champ, third and fourth. And uh yep, we just threw the, we just linked that. A clutch kick so we don't lose it. Oh my gosh. Yep. This car is ridiculous right now. Just love the sound of the angry bees. So I think we need to make a slight adjustment to the suspension, but not much at all. It's very stable, so I'm gonna definitely uh, enjoying building this tune on this car. This is a car that I've been wanting to get a tune for for a while. And uh, trying it on the small wheel, definitely a lot different. But it just goes to show you that you don't need a full-size rim to send it here on Forza 7. You got your wheel settings right, which I've made a video on my wheel settings and how I have them set. So as long as you got your wheel settings set up, and you have a well-placed car, that was almost death. That sign said no. Little jump initiation. We're gonna finish out this 26 seconds. And then I think we're gonna head to another track because I'm having a lot of fun with this FC. And uh, I feel like we need to send this FC at another track. Of course, we're gonna put the NRG wheel back on just because I'm more comfortable on that, but. Yep, I think we got a pretty dialed FC tune so far. We're gonna throw the NRG rim back on. There we go. And then uh, we're we'll gonna see where Forza decides to take us next. Indie circuit in the rain. I we're definitely gonna try this car in the rain. See how she goes in the rain. And uh, 
Like I said, we gotta make one slight tweak, I think, to the suspension. If I can find my controller. One slight tweak to the suspension, and uh, we will be good to go to the next track. Brands Hatch in the rain. So we're gonna see how this thing handles in the rain to finish this episode off. So if there's a tune that you guys want, or a car you guys want a tune built for, let me know down in the comment section down below or hit me up on Instagram. I have no problems making tunes or you know, developing a tune for a specific car for drifting, whether it be for the wheel, the controller, not so much. I'm not that good on a controller anymore, but uh, for a wheel setup, if you guys want a tune developed for a car or and such, let me know down in the comment section or in Instagram. You can shoot me a direct message. So we want to make quick adjustments to the suspension and that is just soften the front a little bit and that is actually all I want to do. I don't want to mess with it too much because this car handles, like I said, very well. So we're going to see how it handles in the rain and uh, hopefully uh, we have a very diverse tune for rain or dry. Oh boy. Definitely a huge difference in the rain. But the car is still manageable. I e-brake that too much. So, it doesn't have as much front bite in the rain as I would hope. But there we go. Gotta really feather the throttle though in the rain. Because we know how online drift hoppers like to send rain circuits in on everybody, so this car does get it in the rain, so it is very good in the rain. Throw a little first person. There we go. Oh boy. I hit that puddle and I thought I was going to lose it completely. So, like I said, if you guys have a car or a tune you guys want developed, maybe you want me to build you guys a tune, I do have a problem with that. I love drifting different cars I don't normally drive. I had a lot of fun building this FC tune, and uh, I think I may have found a uh, new favorite uh, mess around car. And uh, now we're just testing it in the rain, and it's uh, it's holding its own. Rain drifting definitely uh, a lot different aspect for sure. Too much. Don't flip the car. So I think that's gonna do it here for this episode here on Forza Motorsport Seven. Building a subscriber, a tune. If you guys like your tune, you guys want to see more, or you guys have a tune that you guys want built, or maybe a tune you guys want me to try, hit me up on Instagram, direct message me on Instagram. I will see what I can do for you guys. So until next time, guys, you know you guys can follow me on Instagram, Facebook, Twitch, and Twitter. All of which are found in the description box below. I want to make a big thank you to subscriber for uh, suggesting this car for a tune because... Uh, I'm having a lot of fun with this car and I am definitely going to be using this car a lot more in some online sessions. Maybe we'll get online and get some tandems together. We'll be doing some open sessions here very, very shortly on uh, Forza 7 as well as Horizon 3. So until next time, guys, I thank you guys for watching. If you guys are not a subscriber, click the subscribe button. I do appreciate all the support as well as bell notifications if you want to be one of the first for you to get the daily uploads. I do appreciate all the support. Like I said, I am trying to get that thousand subscriber milestone. I will be doing a big 
thing for subscribers if I do reach that thousand subscribers mark in the near future. So always stay tuned to the channel for uploads as well as Instagram for notifications about the channel as well as everything else going on. So until next time guys, I thank you guys for watching. I'm going to try and send this last part. Just a little grass drop. Oh! <laughs> I'm Evil Rabbit and I'm out.